Hey everybody and welcome to the channel and welcome to an unscheduled video. Now if you know my channel you know I do videos on Monday and Wednesday but as I recently started doing a lot of ZBrush videos and I know a lot of you guys like to see the Maya videos on my channel I decided to do an extra Maya video this week just for you guys yeah. Okay so what are we doing today? We're creating a rotating lights so something you would see in a DJ setup maybe on a cop car that kind of idea yeah. Uh, it's uh, fairly easy to do. We're going to do the whole thing. We're going to do modeling. We're going to um, rig the lights. We're going to set up the lights and we're going to animate it. Yeah. Okay. So we need a base for our light. Let's take a uh, polygon uh, cylinder. We're going to right click at a face, get rid of the bottom. Then we're going to go in, right click at an edge, double click, control E to extrude, W to push down, R to scale out, G to repeat and W to push down. There you go. Now you can clean that up and make it nice and smooth and everything, but that's not the point of the video. So you get the idea, yeah? Okay, let's uh, push that up on our grid here. Let's maybe just lower that top a little bit. That's fine, okay. So we have that. Now, what are rotating lights? Basically, there are two uh, semi-spheres that have a light inside and they rotate, okay? So let's take a sphere. We're gonna move that up and we will adjust the size accordingly but for now we're going to jump to the top and we're going to right click and go to face and we're going to drag select half of it and get rid of that yeah all right okay so now that we have that let's make sure it's not cutting into our base here let's move that up a little bit uh, we want the inside to be uh, lambert gray or at least for now yeah so we're going to take our object hit Control e to extrude Let's do uh, 0 0.03, that's fine. And of course we need two of these, okay? So we're gonna move this one forward, like so. And you probably think, okay, so now we need to copy one over and then combine it. Well, yes, we're gonna copy it over, Control D, and then move it back, E to rotate, and then flip it around but we're not gonna combine it, we're gonna group it. And I'll explain why in a minute, yeah? First, we're gonna move it over so it's almost touching, not entirely. Okay, so now that we have these two, uh, because it's gonna be rotating, it has to be perfectly centered, but we're gonna drag select it first, we're gonna control G to group it, yeah? And then we're gonna go up to modify center pivot and edit and delete by type history. Okay, so now it can uh, rotate perfectly. Let's make sure it's sitting on top of our base in the correct spot. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're going to hold down X and we're going to snap it. And there you go. And now we're all good. Height wise, uh, I think we're good as well. Yep. Yeah. So now we have the opportunity to select this one and that one while it's still a group, right? We can go into our outliner. We got our group right there. Okay. So what's next? Well, we need to create some lights. Let's close the outliner. Let's take a, um, let's go up to create. We're gonna go to lights. Let's do a spotlight. Let's move that up. And let's set it to the center of our sphere. So F to frame, four for wireframe mode. And then we're gonna hold down V and snap it right there. And that seems to be okay. And then from the position point of view, we are gonna move it a little bit forward like so. So it's actually in one shell, yeah? So that looks okay. And then we're gonna make sure that it's working. Okay, so uh, how do we make sure it's working? Well, it's simple. We're just gonna take a polygon plane, hit R to scale it, hit W to move it over, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it up, like this and then we're going to go in here and hit seven on our keyboard to activate our light and there you go that's our light okay so it works we're going to hit h to hide that hit six so we can see what's going on and we want one more light on the other end so we're going to go to create lights we're going to go to spotlight again hit w move that up and then we're going to move it over this end e to rotate flip it around like so and then we're gonna go to the top after frame 
W to move and hold down a V to snap it. After frame again, so we can see what's going on. Let's push it in here. And then height wise, we're perfectly in sync as well. Okay, cool, cool. Now we have everything set up right here. And if we hit play, you'll see that nothing happens because we didn't animate anything yet. Okay, so let's start with our shells here. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna animate the group, not the individual shells. So we're gonna go to the outliner, we're gonna select our group, yeah? We're gonna scrub to frame one, and we're gonna hit S to keyframe that, okay? Then we're gonna kind of calculate how long it would take to have one full rotation. Let's say, I don't know, one second, okay? So we're gonna scrub to frame 24, which is about one second, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to rotate, so hit E, we're going to start to rotate. Then we're going to hit Control A, open up the attribute editor. And here is our rotation right there. We're going to set that to 360 degrees because that's a full circle. Sorry for the noise, there's a jet coming over. We're going to right click and click on Set Key. Okay, so let's see what happens. Jump back to frame one, we're going to hit play. Okay. That didn't stick. Let's try that again. Let's do 360 and then go in here and set key. I think it worked better this time. Yeah, okay. All right, so we have a full rotation. Now, the thing is though, I want it to keep on rotating. So we have 24 frames. Let's set this slider here to 24 frames. Let's hit play. And it's uh, continuing to rotate, but as you can see, something is wrong. Well, the thing that's wrong with it is there's an ease in and ease out in the animation. So it slowly starts to rotate, then it's at full speed, and then slowly, uh, you know, hits the brakes, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So we're going to fix that. We've got this selected. We're going to go up to uh, our animation tab. Let's go up to, uh, where's that again? Windows, yeah, and we're gonna go to Animation Editor. We're gonna go to the Graph Editor. Now, here is our tangent for our animation. You can see the ease in and ease out. I'm gonna drag select it, and I'm gonna hit this guy right here to make it linear. So now it's a straight line. There shouldn't be an ease in and there shouldn't be an ease out, okay? Let's close that out. Let's hit play again. Let's see what we got. Okay, looks better, yeah? Alrighty, so um, we're gonna go back and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure that our lights are moving uh, with the shells. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, that's why we created a group for the two shells and we didn't clean uh, uh, set it up as one mesh, yeah? I want this light to be parented to this shell. So I'm gonna select this guy, shift select this guy, and then I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard, P to parent. Then we're gonna go in here, select this guy, shift select this guy, and again, hit P to parent, yeah? All right, let's hit play, let's see what we got. And there you go, they're rotating. Now let me check that tangent one more time because I see something going on here, looks like, yeah? So we need to create our, uh, select our group here. Let's go to our animation editors, graph editor. It's actually okay, so my bad. All right, so now we have all that, let's see if this works. So we're gonna go up to uh, display. We're gonna go to show all, which gives us back our wall here. We're gonna hit seven on our keyboard and we're gonna hit uh, play and see if it actually worked the way we wanted it to. Here we go. And it does. Now the cool thing is you can add color to your lights. So you can make one light red, the other one blue, and then you got a cop car, right? Or you can make it some funky colors or put uh, two or three or four of these things on a base and you got a DJ light show, yeah? So yeah, that's all this to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you appreciate the fact that it's an extra video, especially for those of you who are uh, enjoying the Maya uh, sections. Uh, but that said, I will be doing more ZBrush videos, so let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about that, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.
Now I'm a bitch.